Hey, this is MassX with a brand new One Punch Man The Strongest video and it's a, I guess we'll call it, Happy Tank Top Master Day. Yes, Extreme Tank Top Master has dropped. So now we're going to go ahead and get a little bit more in depth with this character. We're going to go ahead and talk about him. I'm going to show you where I've got him at currently as well as builds and probably a little bit of testing. So let's go ahead as a quick reminder if you don't remember this particular character is very good okay he has damage reflect breakthrough he shuts it down sharing on your opponent's side just a very all-around solid unit so let's go ahead and as a reminder his basic attack just ta attacks a single target with two combo strikes and it's damage equal to attack you're not going to care about that then his ultimate attacks a column with five combo strikes. Its damage is equal to 110% of HP. We'll talk about that more when building him, as well as can trigger breakthrough, which is awesome. Instantly removes target's damage ignoration, granted by unyielding type effects. Good stuff, once per attack on each target. Now, we've gotta talk about his passive. This is when, this is, this character is really, this is where he gets good. When the battle begins, gains a specialized guard equal to 180% of HP. It absorbs incoming damage up to 15 times of original max HP. It removes bonus HP effects. Removes the damage sharing effects of all enemies when the turn begins, period. So it's a complete shutdown. So yes, that is incredibly effective. After taking damage or being defeated, reflects 51% incoming damage to four random enemies, okay? Specialized guard plus HP consumption, only one effect of the same type works throughout the whole battle, and you have a scaling HP amount in addition to that. That passive is just, to me, it's just awesome makes him super tanky, effectively shuts down sharing characters on your opponent's side, and you get Reflect. Just a really good kit altogether. Now the Awaken passive. When the battle begins, summons Tank Top Tiger to assist with attack equal to 30% of Tank Top Master's original HP. After an ally takes action, Tank Top Tiger deals follow-up equal to 100% attack to one random enemy. The follow-up is prioritized enemies with damage ignoration and can trigger breakthrough. Freaking awesome. Instantly removes the target's damage ignoration, granted by unyielding type effects, yada yada yada. Recovering Tank Top Master's specialized guard by 20%. All very important. This character, it's all about the awakened passive and it's all about the passive itself. Now, if you awk to the character, by the way, for your awakened passive, you will get Tank Top Tiger and Tank Top Black Hole to assist, similarly to like King, etc. So keep that in mind. This character does not require, though. He's very effective even not being put any further than Awaken 1, as well as you don't have to 5P this character. Of course he's gonna be better, exactly, of course he is, but it's not absolutely necessary. At 5P, the battle begins, gain specialized guard, and it's now equal to 230% of HP, as well as as it removes the damage sharing effects, so that's the same on both. So you get that 30% difference on the specialized guard equal to 230% versus 200%. So it's nice, but it's not absolutely necessary. Um, your reflect goes up to 61% versus 51%. So yeah, again, you don't have to 5P this character. Honestly, you get, you even just 3p this character you're getting the increased hp the increased block rate and the increased block all things are going to help him out immensely four is just your crit res and five of course is your 5p so really 
not an absolute necessity with this character, which makes him playable for free-to-play light spenders in particular. But again, with the quotation marks, let's just say, of just don't sell yourself short. We don't know where the schedule's going. The way it has gone now for two months, it would be shocking if we didn't get our next core character next month. So keep that in mind and be careful when planning out. Now, right now, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through what I currently have mine currently at. And as you can go ahead and see, he is limit broken to six. His awaken um, inspiration is now currently at three stars. Character talents aren't that far. Haven't even opened up three. Working on two currently. Now looking at the character, of course, can't do much with the keepsake itself. It's only at two stars. I fully maxed the exclusive badge at this point because of the HP. I have a machine god set on him. It's not fully done. I happen to have it. So I threw it on him for now. Yes, I like getting the increased HP by 12%, but honestly, drive to me would be the most optional because of the 30% the all damage reduction because you want to keep him on the field. But I may switch it around with other characters. Right now, I just decided to go ahead and do a cold build instead of just pulling off of everybody. That's why this one won't be as built up as you'll normally see. Because I wanted to go ahead and see what I could get and see how productive he is without making him bonzo crazy out of the gate. So similarly with the buff gear, again, only two stars at this point. So that has a lot of room to grow. I did go ahead and it had been planning for this character for the last week so I went ahead and got the HP bonuses three of them on the bat gra grappler buff gear excuse me it's pretty crappy You're gonna have to do some rerolling on that and for the S class buff gear I got an HP bonus on there I'm gonna do some rerolling on this one also personally because I would like to you know, bonus damage is nice, but it's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for stuff that will make him tanky and let him hold as long as possible. So yeah, so he's not, you know, anything crazy right now. His stats aren't bad, you know. He's got decent stats, as you can see. But yeah, I would love to get the block and block rate higher. Maybe a little crit. Maybe not, actually. Some resistance. I want to keep this character alive. But he's really a solid character all the way around. But let's go ahead and see him in a little gameplay, especially since he's not fully built up. I'm going to first go ahead and throw him in a hero-only lineup at this point in time. Because I think he don't have as crazy of a setup, of course, with that. And then we'll go ahead and do one where it's mixed. But here, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and put Flashy Flash behind him i'm going to go ahead and put him on the front line for now but that evasion is going to help him out too and instead of going with aoe right now i'm just going to leave garo out there so hopefully the match will last longer and let's go ahead and see what happens so i expect it to do well i'm really curious to see what type of damage he can do I like that he's right in front of um, an Atomic Samurai, so that will really test him out to say the least. Let's go ahead and get a little flashy blash hit there. He should go second too, that's the other reason why I wanted him linked up with Flashy Flash to get the most exposure as we can with this character. So let's go ahead, he should hit next. There we go, boom. And, you know, let's just see if he holds up. I'm really curious to see the atomic pound on him. That's what I really want. A lot of people too don't like to put him on the front line, like him on the back line because they want him to stay alive. I think if you go full tank crazy on him, 
I, per, I would prefer him on the front line, especially with a mixed team with um, monsters, villains as well. That would be my preference. Come on. Let's see some... Ugh. I did not expect to outspeed this so much. I really want to see Atomic hit him. This is probably going to end quicker than I anticipated. Garu taken out. Child Emperor. Doing what Garu does. Oh, and he didn't have enough energy. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is just, ugh. Okay, that's ridiculous. All right. Well, that was a shocker to me. But this should last for a bit because I really only have true, one true DPS character on the field. And that metal bat's gonna keep things moving here for a second. Okay, boy, this feels super slow to me right now. I just really want that atomic to really want to see where we can get at by the end of this battle, but King's not going to help anything out. Well, Metal Bat's really not doing much at this point on him. But when you uh, look at his bar, you can see the specialized guard and that just is going to just keep him going and going and going for a while but all right this should wrap up here pretty quick or maybe we'll skip out of it and go to a full-on match and see where I can put him in place of Gogetsu to really see how it does that shutdown I think that would be smart to do so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to try something a little wonky here and what we're going to go ahead and do is do the similar setup as I did in that last one, but of course it's a mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and have the evasion with um, Tank Top Master as well as I'm going to move up, which I normally wouldn't do, Deep, key, deep Sea King to the front line. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this. We'll go ahead and see if he can hold up because, oh, <laughs> they already put one in. Well. Gosh darn it, that's not what I was looking for. I wanted a Koketsu. <sighs> Alright, life goes on. Well, let's see it not being too built up at this point. Let's see how he holds up, especially um, when we are going to have the corrosion coming from Deep Sea King. Because that is big. As well as they do have an atomic samurai on that front line not exactly where I would place it but there we go okay good he got slammed by deep sea king you can already see that those uh, little diamonds going around away on him right then and there because of getting slammed on so yeah, I was really curious to see how he can hold up at this point against Deep Sea King because quite honestly, most people are building theirs up to be incredibly strong. Come on. Okay. I don't know why it seems so slow to me today. It's just, I don't know. 
Maybe my mind's not in the game today, but... Good. I want him to keep getting hit. I want to see if he can hold. Or how long, I should say, he can hold. Go ahead and do one more match after this. Hopefully we'll get... I just want to go get to just to show that it's shut down. But so far so good. He's definitely not dead yet. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do one more really quickly here. Let's see if we'll get a go get to. We don't get a go get to. <laughs> This is my luck. Uh, all right. Well, we got two for re, two reflect characters, so that's interesting. But this one is not exactly what I was looking for either. But he is going to keep taking hits from a very well built CK as well as, of course, a back row deep seeking if if he goes center row. So we'll see. But yeah, you can, it, it, it's really a no-brainer with this character. He's good. He's really good. It's just going to question whether you are able to keep yourself and your account prepared for the possibility of next month. And you also have to consider it's two-year anniversary. So there would be a lot of stuff probably that might not normally be there. There might be some good deals. So yeah, just... You know, just be careful. If you don't got the tickets, maybe pop around for the uh, rerun if you think this character will go well with you. If you do have the tickets, he's going to be a solid build. He's going to be a good counter. He's basically going to really um, help out and change the meta a little bit right now. Um, and he does have a decent shelf life, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. And for hero only teams he's a huge plus because now you're getting a reflect unit on there as well as a solid tank which we really don't have for hero teams so yeah i mean he's a win-win all the way around the question is just going to be whether you have the resources the tickets or if you'd rather hold off and save for first or excuse me second anniversary so all right that's enough of that you guys get the picture. When I finish building this character, I will do an update with him. Once I have some more time, can really maximize him. And also too, I'll probably go ahead and run him in EBZ this weekend. Um, I know it's gonna put me on a major disadvantage in a lot of ways, but I probably will just to see um, how he holds up if I finish my build as far as I can get it by then but that's my plan right now I normally do that because I want to get some good featured um, video to show everybody to really you know especially against incredibly strong teams to see how he really stands at this point in time so with that as always please like and subscribe it helps a lot have a great day